Hello and welcome back to the Three Pillars Podcast. I'm your host, Chase Tobin, a.k.a. Tobinator, the Motivator, and this is episode 69, Simplicity. Guys, welcome back to the Three Pillars Podcast, the podcast where we focus on those three pillars of fitness, spiritual, mental, and physical, to help us grow closer to the Lord on this journey of life. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in each and every week. Uh, it's a great way for us to really take a, a look in, inward and outward and see where exactly we are in space and time in our relationship with the Lord, with each other, and you know, with ourselves. This episode, we're going to be discussing simplicity. How do we live a, how do we live a simple life? What does the Bible say about being simple? How can you apply a simple, um, a simple structure in your life to help focus you, keep you, keep you on that straight and narrow, right? If you guys are watching this on YouTube or Rumble, please give us a subscribe. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. Share this with the winds. That's how we grow this podcast. If you're listening to this on any of the other platforms, Apple, Anchor, Spotify, you name it, uh, please give us a rating and a review. Share it uh, as well. That way, you know, even if you even if you only only listen on Apple, for example, go to Spotify and, and follow us too, and we'll we'll just go from there. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. It's been a real blessing. We're gonna dive right in and talk about simplicity and kick you guys out for the rest of the weekend. Hey, right. So. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the many blessings that you give us each and every every week, every day, every minute, second of our lives, Lord. Thank you for being simple, not overcomplicating our lives. That's on us to do. Thank you for being the truth. Thank you for being the way. Thank you for being our life eternal, Lord. Lord, I ask that you guide us and direct us be with me today give me the the words to say give people listening the eyes to see ears to hear and hearts to receive your word that we can all grow closer to you in jesus name amen all right so simplicity what does it mean to be simple it's 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 not that complicated right there's a, a principle out there you guys probably heard it's the kiss principle keep it simple silly or stupid whichever one you <laughs> have been you know beaten into in your lives that holds true across many spectrums of our lives. And again, we're going to talk about spiritual, mental, and physical fitness and, and how we can apply this KISS principle, keeping simplicity at the forefront of our thoughts each and every day. Being simple, it, it, it really means not adding more to a, a problem, a an endeavor than you need it to be. When I'm in the military, when I was in the military, if, as a squad leader, if I'm de delivering a plan to my squad, if my platoon commander delivers a plan to me, generally the platoon commander gives it to the squad leader, and it's like this much. I need you to do this at this time on this date, whatever it might be, whether I need the barracks clean, whether I need it disobjected, assaulted. It's a very simple order. Now, for, a, for the squad leader, I have to go through and make it a little bit more complicated if I'm going to deliver a five-paragraph order, go through and, and, and really get all my guys on the same page with it. But that being said, I don't need to overcomplicate the plan because the more complicated your plan is, the more likely you're going to have an error in said plan. Does that make sense? If I have all, if, if I have this one main objective but I'm gonna, I need to do this and this and this and this. It's kind of like playing a role-playing game, right? And you've got your main quest, but all your side quests. If you get on all those, which we all have to do, and <clears throat> don't stick to the main quest, you're going to have so much going on. Uh, it's going to be overcomplicated. That's just kind of like your life, too. The, the simpler I keep this plan, the, the, the most direct path to this endeavor, the less chance there is to fail. Because it puts more responsibility on the individuals. If I say, hey, go clean that room. Let's go reorganize that container, whatever it is. If, if I just say that, it leaves them to figure out how they're going to do it. Now, if I need it done a specific way, I need you to organize that container in a way that makes sense. I can get even more specific than that. I need you to organize that container by you know, alphabetically, by mission, readiness by whatever it needs to be let's just say for example that get that narrows that uh, window for error as it were when you are doing it like a physical fitness routine there's a lot of different models out there crossfit powerlifting bodybuilding 
you know, Olympic lifting, marathon training, sprinting, decathlon. There's a lot of different um, disciplines out there. But across the entire board, a simple training regimen of consistency and discipline every single day or as often as you can is what is going to get you to success. Brilliance in the basics. If, 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 when I used to wrestle back in the day, if you could master a single leg takedown and own it every single time, what's the Bruce Lee quote? If fear not the man who practices 10,000 kicks one time, fear the man that practices one kick 10,000 times. Same kind of, kind of concept. This basic <clears throat> movement is the foundation of everything you do in, in wrestling, in my opinion. But if you keep that simple, if you just practice it over and over again, it becomes second nature. That simple task becomes part of what you do. If you are lifting in the gym, you want to see results. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Those basic movements, bench press, squat, some kind of hand clean, deadlift, compound movement over and over again. All this stuff that you see on, on, the, on the interwebs is all flashing. It's for clout, a lot of it. But if you talk to any power lifter, any bodybuilder, anything, it's the same thing over and over again until they reach their goal. They used to joke about bodybuilders eating chicken and rice every day until they get on their prep. It's a lot of truth. That's a very simple, uh, simple plan, right? Don't overcomplicate. You start adding in all this extra stuff. You know, I'm doing squat, but now I need to do, and I got to do sissy squats. I got to do leg extensions. I got to do, you know, I got to do walking lunges. I got to do this hip thrust thing. I got to jump up on this box over and over again. All these things, maybe they have their place in a routine if you're trying to mix it up. But your basic, simple routine consistently over the course of several weeks is going to pay off more dividends than all these little extra things you might do once every couple weeks. It also lessens the likelihood of you getting hurt. If you're doing the same thing over and over again, your body's going to be used to it. Just like that single leg takedown with wrestling. It becomes second nature. It becomes part of what you're doing. You don't have to get out there and lift 500 pounds. If that's what you want to do, do it. I encourage everyone to be as strong as humanly possible. But also don't hurt yourself in, in the process. Don't just throw 500 pounds at a bar and throw your back out. Work your way up to it. And the way you get to that goal is this simple, consistent, disciplined method that you do each and every day. Same thing with your diet. What are you doing on a consistent basis to keep yourself moving towards that goal? Very, very simple. Don't eat like trash. If you want to eat a pizza once in a while, eat a pizza, but don't eat pizza every single day. If you want to eat a cheeseburger once in a while, eat a cheeseburger, but don't eat a cheeseburger every single day. If you want to drink a beer once in a while, drink a beer, but don't do it every single day. Don't work out hard all week and then just get bombed on the weekends and ruin your entire week worth of training. That takes away from your simplicity. This is the physical realm. In the mental realm, we like to overcomplicate things as because we have to have control over every little portion of our, of our existence. You have to first identify that there are things outside of your control. Things you cannot control. I can't control the weather. If I could, I wouldn't be here right now. I can't control how other people around me act. Even in a leadership position, even in the military, I can't control my guys 100% of the time, all the time. On the weekends when they go out for limo, what am I going to do? I can't be in all their, their ears every every minute of the day say, hey, don't do that. Hey, do this. Don't do that. Don't, you, you can't. Okay, even in an operational setting, you ha you have to trust that you have trained them well to get the job done, but you still can't control them every bit of time. What you can't control is how you react to whatever's going on in the world around you. Once you identify that, okay, now I can manage these things that I can control, and how can I manage them in a simple, uh, in, a, in a simple fashion? It's really not that complicated. I'm not saying go full Zuckerberg or, or Steve Jobs where you only have one outfit and you wear that one outfit every single day because it takes away from one decision you have to make every day. If that's what you want to do, go for it. But you don't have to have, on the other side of that, you don't have to have 37 different pairs of shoes. You don't have to have 37 different dresses. You don't have to have all these, all these things that you think you need. Because maybe that puts a strain on your finances, having all this extra stuff. 
you spent money on for no reason, right? That's gonna stress you out. That's gonna keep you from having this simple existence. Mentally, you know, what are you putting into your, your mind every single day? Are you just mindlessly scrolling through, you know, TikTok or Instagram or whatever and not actually having a focus or a plan? Maybe your simplicity, this simple life is to eliminate that from your daily routine. It can be very difficult because these little things in our hands, they are, they're addictive. It's, it's an instant dopamine dump. It's an instant instant gratification. If you make a post and people are all, all you know, engaged with it and you just see that little red, red notification, you just get so excited. I get it. I get it. But if you need to focus and you need to be more simple, you may have to trim that out of your life. And start putting something in your life that's that's more, again, more edifying. We talk about this all the time. A lot of things happening in, in the world. Sometimes you have to tune that out and focus on yourself. Focus on your own healing. Get away from the world for a little bit. You know, ladies, drop the kids off with your husband. Go do what you have to do. Men. Find time for yourself early in the morning, whatever, even if it's 15 to 30 minutes a day. Just you alone with whatever you have to do. Best practice is getting into prayer and attenuation with the Lord. That's going to lead us into the, the last section is the spiritual part, part of simplicity. Find some time every day to cast the world out, bring the, the Lord in. 15 minutes at the start of your day or at the end of your day or whenever you can get away from everything in the still quiet of your home, apartment, car, whatever, find time to spend with the Lord. A couple verses on simplicity. From Psalm 116, 6, The Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, He saved me. Humbling yourself. Admitting your faults, understanding where you're weak, being in that time of need, that simple state of being, the Lord is there with you no matter what. When you're at the top of the mountain, you've got everything you need. You are rejoicing in the successes that you have. The Lord's still there. Don't forget about it. Keep your humility about you. Keep your simplicity about you. 1 Corinthians 14.33, For God is not a God of confusion, but of peace. Having a simple life is a life of peace. Because you understand, again, there are things outside of your control, and you are at peace with the things that you can't control. There will be storms, there will be tumults, there will be ruts, and there will be dips in the road. But if you can find peace in your thoughts, in your clarity, in, this, in, in, your, in your physical being, and, and balance this, this, this overall health and wellness that we talk about every week, you're going to be less confused about what's going on in the world because that peace you have will help you see through the storm and have you focused on the Lord despite whatever is going on in the world around you. The tempest is swirling, but you focus on him, you walk on water to him. But when you start doubting, that's when you sink. As Peter. John 14, 23, Jesus answered him, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word and my father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home with him. Very simple. Love the Lord with all your heart, soul, and mind. And he's going to help take care of you throughout all the craziness in your life. Psalm 19.7 The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Go talk to somebody who's elderly, who lived through the depression, who lived through a time of, of want, a time of not having a lot of things. You will find that they are wise beyond their years because they knew how to, how to operate, how to adapt, how to live without all the conveniences in the world. And they were happy. They were richer than any of us today. I talked to my grandfather not that long ago, and he lived through a lot of crazy stuff. But he's told me he never had to go to the grocery store. It was very rare. They had their own milk. They grew their own food. They had a lot of stuff. It was work. But it was simple and they were happy. We need to get back to that 
simple life. If everybody could do their part and have a life of sustainment on their own, you could cut back on a lot of craziness going on in the world. You don't need a lot of space. Ideally, we'd like to have a little space, but you don't need a lot, trust me. 1 Timothy 6, 6 through 7, But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world, and we cannot take anything out of the world. <clears throat> contentment, right? Be content with your relationship with the Lord. He created everything. He created you. He, he gave you the uh, ability to create things. But you, you know, you know, matter can neither be created nor destroyed, unless you're God, right? <clears throat> I can't take anything out of the world. I can't put anything uh, into the world. That's all on the Lord. Understand that. Understand that he is the giver of life. It makes life a lot more simple. That's just me. Uh, we'll do a couple more. <clears throat> John six thirty five. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger. And whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Gets back to the whole trust of the Lord. <clears throat> love the Lord your God without your heart, soul, and mind. But also trust in him. With all your heart, soul, and mind. And he goes on and he talks about, you know, the birds are, are flying through the air. They don't have any clothes. No, they don't have to worry about anything because the Lord is giving them everything that they need. So do you think that you are less than the birds? No, you're higher than the birds. You're just a little lower than the angels. And at some point in your life, you may even judge angels because of, the, you know, <coughs> some of the Psalms. I think Psalm 82, Psalm 89, one of those gets into it. But uh, that's not a simple, <laughs> it's way beyond simple. But, um, Jesus is the bread of life. So you understand that your life source and your energy comes from him. He's going to take care of you, but you have to trust in him. And then the last one, we said it over and over again on this podcast, Matthew 22, 37. And he said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. That's a very simple commandment. And the following one is love your neighbor as yourself. Two very simple commands. He does this for a reason because we as humans tend to overcomplicate things for no reason. Go forth in the world. Don't hurt other people. Don't bring harm to other people. That's loving your neighbor as yourself. Don't lie, cheat, or steal, right? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. Not a, not a hard thing to ask. Because now you have accountability, now you have direction, now you have somebody to let down, somebody who is going to judge you at the end of time. Oh, but that's oppressive, is it? I'd rather spend eternity uh, with life, with the creator of the universe, than just disappear into nothingness and be returned to dust and nothing happened to me after I die. If I'm right, then it's a, it's a fantastic thing. If I'm wrong, okay, then we just turn to dust. That argument's pretty null, in my opinion. Keep it simple, silly. That's all I got for you guys. Simplicity. Live a simple life and you're going to be just fine. I promise you. Read the distractions if you need to. Put things into your life that are edifying. I Hopefully this podcast helps you guys daily, weekly, monthly, whenever you tune into it. If you feel like it has, please share this with somebody who needs it. Hit the little, little arrow button and share it to whoever. Send it as a text message. Hey, check this out. Send, send it on your on your Insta, uh, Instagram, social media, whatever you've got. If it helps, obviously. I'm not you know, not controlling you, telling you what to do. That just goes against everything I just said. But if, it, if, it, if, it, if it's something, again, it would, it would help out uh, the podcast grow. It'd be great. You guys, again, thank you for tuning in. This has been a real pleasure. We're going to end with a quick word of prayer as always. Kick you guys out for another fantastic weekend. And we'll see what we got for episode 70 next. 70, episode 70 coming up. That's awesome. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for keeping us simple, keeping us humble, showing us what it means to be humble by incarnating yourself on earth and living Simply and humbly as a human being, you are the example of which we should emulate every single day. Lord, your example, your your guidance keeps us on that path to you. You give us focus during the tumult. You give us strength when we are weak. Lord, I thank you for this every single day. Lord, I ask that you be with anybody tuning into this podcast. Bless them with the abundance that they can pour 
your glory and grace into other people just as you pour into them. And Lord, I ask that you continue to pour into me and my family. Give us the strength to endure all the craziness in the world and to continue to being, being a light for you everywhere we go, all across the country, all across the globe. Lord, I ask this in your most heavenly name. Amen. All right, ladies and gents. Again, this is Three Pillars Podcast. I'm Chase Tobin. I hope this has been a, a blessing for you. I wish you nothing but peace and simplicity as you go on into your weekend. Guys, we'll talk to you next week. Episode 70, Tobinator, out.